watch, but I made it look like I have a watch. It's in the truck. I'm losing my mind, guys, if you're wondering. It's gone, man. It's just going. I thought you wandered off to be by yourself for a little bit. Yes, I did. I thought you were just sick of me. Well, hello there, you great and magnificent people. How are you guys on this beautiful day? Yes, I know. I know, I know. Yeah, we're still in trucking. In trucking. How about I try this? Yes, we are still driving a truck. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. Right now we're in Sioux City, Iowa. Yes, I have the tape over the ignition switch still, and no, first glass is not shut off all night, most of the day today. It's a beautiful day. It should be shut off. I know it makes for easy recording when it's quiet and the truck is shut off. As of where we're going next, we are heading for Kansas. Well, if the truck wasn't running all the time, like it is right now, remember. I was gonna show you guys a real quick glimpse of my version of a pre-trip. Think he's still coming? You're sneaky. Yeah, you're really sneaky. You're quiet. Because I had one of you ask me what I do for my pre-trip. My pre-trip is not near as good as what uh, the school, I think, tells you for the pre-trip. It's been well over 15 years since I went to uh, truck driving uh, to get my CDL. I never went to school, but I went to get my CDL and they test you on a pre-trip. Mine consists of purely, well, I'll show you a few more things, but the engine will be running. We'll do it a little bit later on today, too. First thing and main thing is to make sure all my tires are up. Um, I usually run around and make sure all my lights are working. And then I beat and bang on the tire, or beat and, beat and bang. Let's go drive a truck.
Ateş! Alright, so not only are we competing with the, uh, the sound of the truck, because remember, can't shut it off, or the sound of the reefer, now we have an extremely windy day on our hands. I'm gonna turn this way, and I'm hoping the screen on the camera is uh, helping. I did put a lot of hair on top of the camera. It's a, uh, it's a wind muff, per se. So things that I'm gonna walk around when I'm doing a pre-trip, guys, in the realistic world pre-trip days, when I walk around, yeah, I'm, I'm glancing down, I'm looking down at everything like this when I'm hitting the tires, but I'm not laying underneath the truck. You know, every once in a while, come here, Opie, you're gonna get my truck. Every once in a while, I might get down like this, and just kind of look in there, check my slack adjusters, you know, look around, but I don't do it all the time. My main things are what we talked about earlier, lights and uh, tires on a normal every single day basis those are the things i do now if i'm parked right if i'm parked right and i'm not on a hill like this or any a slant the hood comes open and you gotta check your oil oil is a huge thing um realistically in the everyday world if your truck if there's not a puddle under you when you wake up and you know your truck you may get away with not having to do the check in the oil part uh, there's just so many things that could go wrong though with the oil you know an oil filter can come through and I don't know just check your oil if you're on a good level spot in the morning throw the hood up check your oil look at your belts make sure your belts are good I'd love to be over at the truck doing all this but I can't I can't shut it off I shouldn't even talk about it on the video Check your belts, check your antifreeze, check your oil. Check your tires, check your lights. And while you're checking your oil, you can glance down at the front suspension in the wise of U-joints, uh, or U-joints, in the wise of uh, your kingpins, uh, leaf springs, stuff like that. But I'm not gonna roll around on the ground and check all that stuff. That's just, that's safe for the weekend. During the weekend is when I grease my truck and that's when the truck gets a way better look through, a, a, a more specific look through on it. So, real, that, that was just a rundown, guys, on my free trip. We can't go do it all because, well, the truck's running. I've said that 20 times already. I gotta tell you, Ope, I'm not impressed with today's video. I'm not impressed at all. Why are we all over you little sh <laughs> Oh dog. Why are we all over the place? I can't concentrate guys. First class is sick and that's all there is to it. Come on. On up. It's sick and there's nothing I can do about it right now. I don't even leave this truck running like this during the winter. It at least gets to shut off for a little bit throughout the day been running since yesterday at about three o'clock and I guess that's all there is to it instead of me talking why don't I just shut up and drive the truck that's what I'm paid to do that's what a lot of you like to see so let's just go drive the truck
That was too funny. I got him on the long selfie stick. Look at that, Opie. I can zoom way out with this thing. <laughs> I don't think he liked it too much. Did you guys see the side angle view you were getting of his face? Every time he turned his head, he was like, dude, get it out of my face. I'm gonna bite it. I'm gonna bite it. I'm gonna bite it. All right. Well, we're just waiting on some paperwork and we're gonna hit the road, I think. We just will. Um, we could spend the night down here or we could uh, spend the night up there. And we can sleep where I'm gonna get loaded. So I think we're gonna spend the night up there. And then uh, they usually wake us up pretty darn early, which we'll have plenty of our 10 hour break in. I think, yeah. I don't have a watch, but I made it look like I have a watch. It's in the truck. I'm losing my mind, guys, if you're wondering. It's gone, man. It's just going. Not because of the truck. The truck, that's just normal. Um, tomorrow, I'll have some fun with you guys who uh, are telling me to buy a new truck tomorrow. But other than that, I'm just losing my mind just to be losing my mind. That's just the way I roll. You gotta lose your mind every once in a while. made it to a uh, crazy town no not crazy town we've made it to st joe missouri right now this is where we're going to get unloaded or loaded up in the morning then be bought back to sioux city iowa with this load um i do have one more crazy request actually i think it's my only request one crazy request guys all right i'm going to take on a new adventure it uh not not for the channel or nothing but i want to become a better cook See, told you I, lose, I was losing my mind. It's just gone. I want to become a better cook, not only at home, but I want to become a better cook back there in the sleeper of my truck or outside on the grill of my truck. Uh, so I'm just kind of curious. Um, I'm going to put my email in the uh, 
description below. If you guys get bored or if you guys have any awesome recipes that you guys make in the trucks or a recipe that I might actually be able to make, go ahead and send it my way. I'm going to give it a whirl. I know I'm going to try the whole crock pot thing. Um, I know most guys my age are going to the uh, smokers. No, I can't do the smokers. When I'm home and I'm grilling, I'm way too impatient to wait 12 hours to eat a steak. But as for going down the road in the truck, I can try the whole crock pot thing. And I think, from what I hear, it's pretty good. Um, Speedy, you know that channel I told you guys about, he suggested, uh, I already forgot the name of it. It was just on the tip of my tongue. And I still haven't bought it, Speedy, but I was going to really buy it. But it's a little cooker that you can put lasagna and stuff into. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to try new things. Um, this week we've been eating out a lot. And my gut has been ripping me up a lot. I dropped a serious amount of cash on going out to eat. I don't know how people do it. Live, you know, out of truck stops or out of uh, fast food joints. Uh, usually I always eat out of the back of my truck, but the food just isn't good. And I really want to uh, learn how to cook some food inside the truck. Yeah. Crazy town. I know. All right, guys. I'm done. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Or is it I'll see you tomorrow? No, I'll see you next time. Yeah. Okay, bye. I almost forgot you guys down here. That would have got ugly. Would have looked cool for a little bit, but I don't think that magnet would have stuck.